Hello, my name is Joe Mullen, and today I'm here to introduce a brand new floor plan by Sports Coach. This is the 410ES. It is called the Extended Stay. I like also referring to it as the Executive Suite because I'll show you more of that once we get inside. This is built on a Freightliner chassis, it's raised rail, 360 horsepower. It does have 800 foot pounds of torque, does have the six speed Allison transmission, 3000 series, so you can tow 10,000 pounds with this. Couple things about the coach that we're not gonna be able to see on the video, but I do wanna point out is number one, up on the roof, we do have a one piece fiberglass roof. We have a 100 watt solar panel, which is upgradable on the dealer level. And I'll show you what you can do on the inside of the coach if you do elect to upgrade that feature. We do have two 15,000 BTU roof, roof air conditioners with the heat pumps, uh, electronic wise, we do have an 8.0 diesel generator. All sports coaches, they do slide out the front, so maintaining them, very simple to get to. It does have a 2000 watt inverter. It's a pure sine wave inverter. It is set up to be uh, remote or automatic start off of voltage, time, or temperature, so you have all this. And also on our raised rail models, we have the X1 control from Lippert where you can actually control slide rooms, your awnings, some of the lights, the front drop down bunk, all from your telephone. So those are a few features that you will not see on the video, but just wanted to point those out. Uh, construction wise, we do have the steel floor, just a few of the highlights. If you've seen some of my videos, we go through this. Also, if you go to our website, you can do the uh, uh, plant 310 construction video tour. It'll take you through that. We do have Noble Select Gel Coat sidewall. Most important feature, we do have the Asdell backer on the back side. If you know the Coachman's story, you know how we use Asdell. No wood in our sidewall, so you don't have to worry about the wood swelling with moisture over time and then uh, telegraphing out through your sidewall. Also on the paint scheme, we paint everything in-house. Uh, real nice crew over there. We do use uh, Sickens clear coat, Sickens paint. On our raised rail models, you also get four coats of clear on this coach, so it's gonna be bright and shiny all the time. Just keep it, you know, like you'd wash a car, take care of it on the outside. This coach here does have an 18-foot awning on it. Um, what I like about it is all the storage you get on this. You have about 250 cubic feet of storage on here. First compartment on the driver's side will not pass through but we do have storage area there. But as you move back, you can see that we have the slide tray by Moride. This will slide out either side of the coach. Just like it says here on the sticker, it has an 800 pound weight limit. Inside this coach, we do have a tile floor. So we do send extra pieces of that. You, you get a ladder with it for the front drop down bunk. You also have an air hose that comes with it because in each sports coach, you do have auxiliary air hookups where you can hook the air hose to it, front compartment this side. It'll be the first compartment on the pass driver's side, but this way you can maintain your tire pressure as you're driving or as you're going through your travels throughout the US. We also have a 40 inch outside TV, standard on every coach. This next compartment back here, we do have an extra gray tank because this is a bath and a half model. Uh, full wall slide. I'm not going to get away the exact floor plan because it's pretty exciting once you get inside. But what I like about this compartment, it's obviously an area that can get water in it. So I like pointing out to customers, this is a good place to put fishing poles, things that you can get wet and not have to worry about. One of the other things I like is pointing out this little compartment here on the, not only the passenger side, but we have it on the driver's side. In this video, we'll drop in pictures of the termination compartment and the battery compartment LP tank from the other side, just so you have a good look at that. But the important part to this is typically in motorhome production, we've got holding tanks that'll run side to side underneath the floor. Well, when you do that, a lot of times this takes up one compartment here, but you create dead space in that. So what we wanna do, we wanna take advantage of space wherever we can, wherever there's dead space, we're gonna put a door on it or a drawer in it to make it usable. Next compartment back, we do have a 13 gallon depth tank. And then we have a little LP gas hook up in here too. So if you wanna bring your gas grill along, you can hook up in here. And then the back compartment, 
Couple things I point out here. We do have the 2000 watt inverter. Here's your controls for the X1, your electronics where you pair with your phone. What I also like showing is this big inch and a half automotive bulb seal. It's by far the biggest bulb seal in the industry. The importance to that, when you shut these compartments, you're gonna get a nice tight seal every time. Most manufacturers in this price point, their seal's only about three quarters of an inch. So we do double that. It does have a dual lip, so you get a nice tight seal every time. And then on the outside, we do have the uh, 10 gallon LP electric water heater. It is a quick recovery, 18 gallon capacity. And then we do have the ladder to go up on the roof. And like I said, one piece fiberglass roof up on top. Now that we're inside the 410 ES, there's a couple things up in the driver passenger area I, I do want to point out. Each uh, sports coach in the Raise Rail series, they come uh, standard with power driver and power passenger seat. Does have the manual footrest with this on the passenger side. We also have electric step cover that'll close the step well off as you're driving down the road so your feet are not dangling. Also in the step well area, we have the Boss uh, sound bar where pushing the power button, you pair it with Bluetooth on your phone, backlit blue, you've got music from your phone to the outside speakers that are built into the awning. Push the button again, it'll be backlit red. Now it's gonna pair with your outside TV that'll play through the speakers again on your outside awning. One of the other things with our dash area up here, uh, we do have the Freightliner digital dash now, uh, which is new, about a year old. All kinds of charging ports. We do have the radio with CarPlay on it. Now, one of the most common questions I get, does this come with XM radio? We do not offer it per se as part of our package, but I know as a XM subscriber, I can put it on my phone, hit play, pair my phone with the radio. Now I have XM radio right here on the control so you don't have to pay extra money to get the XM radio upgrade. It's right there. Same is true about uh, using um, Google Maps or if you use Waze, your GPS, use your phone, hook it with the camera here or with the monitor here, you're good to go. One of the other things in our coach, the inside of this coach traditionally has been known as a bunk model. Uh, good or bad, some people don't like going into a bunk model. They feel there's better uses of space in the coach. We do put a drop down bunk in every model. It does have a uh, six, 600 pound weight limit on it. Simple up and down, it's a 12 volt motor, basically a winch system using seat belt strapping, pulls it up and down. We do have a safety net that goes in front of this. So sleeping area, you have two here. You have the auxiliary or the uh, trifold sleeper sofa here that'll fold out. You can get two people here. What I love about this coach is I'm six foot four. This bed, this booth here is 88 inches. So once you drop it down to a bed, realistically, a six foot 10 inch person could sleep here. So you can do two, you can do four, five, maybe six. Every coach is built with a king bed. And I'll, we'll show that when we get back to the bedroom area. Um, and then what I also like about this coach, executive suite, extended stay. Behind the sliding barn door here, it's set up, it can be an office. It does come with the standard, the folding chair. By flipping the top, the middle section down, it becomes a bunk model, or we do have the closet rod in here, so it's a wardrobe. We call this the bow room, B-O-W bunk, office, or wardrobe. Also in the front half of our coach, we do have the 18 inch or 18 cubic foot refrigerator with ice maker. But another thing about this coach that I like, and unlike other bunk models out in the industry, we don't do booth and then sofa and then refrigerator. It's better to have your sofa across from your booth. And what this also does is free up space. We've got almost an eight foot countertop here. So if you're carrying extra people, you have plenty of room to prep your food here. Um, lots of storage throughout. The interior you're looking at here is the Mojave interior with the new chocolate cherry interior wood. With that eight foot countertop, we also use the big farm sink, which is nice. But one of the other exclusive features that we have, uh, you always have to do things different. We have what we call the solarium skylight. This is, you know, we've always had skylights in the shower. What we did, we 
supersized it, put it on steroids. This is about a 54 inch skylight. It does have a sliding cover to it. So you can close it off. You can see the stars, see the sun, let it in. We do have the lighting also, so you can have that on for mood lighting. But again, just something different that no other manufacturer is going to offer. And one of the other things that we do with this, uh, we do have a built-in guttering system with this. The box frame itself is an aluminum, aluminum framing, but if water ever gets in there, it's down into that gutter, and it, we run a water hose where we actually take the water back outside so you don't have to worry about it leaking inside the coach. Coming back to the middle of the coach, we do have our half bath here, the only one I forgot to turn the lights on. All your master controls are up here in the cabinet. Big thing I like pointing out, the panel up to the top, I'm gonna to swing around here. The panel up top is if you do upgrade to the solar panel to a bigger wattage, and has a control panel. We do pre-wire. That would go right here. Here's your auto gen start. Here's the inverter function. And this, this is your basic tank levels, LP, furnace, or water heater, water pump. And then this blue light here that I have on, that's just a reminder, that's not only for your TV digital antenna, but it's also for your dash radio. Back in the bedroom area, we do have storage behind our, our flat screen TVs. We also, I like pointing out, we do use the MCD shades throughout. Not only do you have the privacy, but you have the solar shades as well. We have the king bed. We have the coach pap station. Basically what that is, we have a hatch in the bottom of the cabinet. You run your hose down through there. We have an outlet. It's all lighted cabinetry up there. Then we also have a bundle amount of storage uh, underneath the slide, underneath the king bed itself. Nice place to store the dinette cushions. Um, and there's also room, shove those back, extra blankets, etc. In the rear bath, we do have the uh, one piece fiberglass shower. This one does have a seat in it, uh, porcelain toilet, vacuum flush system. All the raised rail models, we do put the washer dryer in. Even in our straight rail series, it's prepped for it. It's something we can easily add or a dealer can easily add if you'd rather have the storage. Plenty of pantry space in here. Great cabinet. This cabinet here actually goes all the way back to the wall. I know you can't see it, but I got pretty long arms. Uh, the depth of the shower, lots of storage, clean storage underneath. And then this little access cover here. Um, common question I get, what's underneath there? That's just basically if a mechanic ever needs to get to the top of the motor, lift that up, it's right there. So one other thing, a couple other things I'd like to hit on is seat belts. Okay, you talk about having seating or sleeping area, eight to 10 people. Um, we actually have seat belts, two on each side of the booth. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six here, seven, eight up front. But what I also like to point out is on this bunk, this extended stay model, we do have a child restraint system where you can run the, the uh, strap down through here and clip down at the floor. Um, so every seat belt is pull tested. One of the things I get, can we add more seat belts here, more seat belts there? The answer to that is quite honestly no, because we do have to have everything seat belt pull test, you know, to be safe, obviously. But you do have the two here, two here, two here, two up front. Um, so plenty of seat belt capacity. Also on this tile floor that you see here, this is Imser brand tile uh, flooring. What's unique about this is this is actually a free floating floor. Um, people ask, well, is that tile gonna crack? In all reality, tile can crack in your own house uh, with the way the air shifts and everything. But one, one of the ways we try to combat that is these tiles are actually glued into plastic trays that are interlocked together. And the process that the plan is, we'll lay these plastic trays out the entire floor, glue the perimeter of it, and then in the middle part, we're gluing the tile into the tray, so the middle part is actually free-floating to absorb twisting and flexing. And overall, it does a good job. Will it ever crack? Possibly. Usually more than not, if something like this cracks because somebody's dropped something on it and there's impact, that's why we send the extra pieces of tile with us.
This has been the inside of the 410ES. You've seen the outside. Please go to our website, www.coachmanrv.com. Each brand, click on the link, check us out. There is video links to do the whole factory tour where you can see the construction part of this. But follow us on Instagram, Coachman Recreational Vehicles, TikTok, um, Coachman Class A, Instagram. Social media, obviously, is a big part of our world these days. So just follow us there. Also, please leave comments if you want, because we do have people that monitor those comments. Um, even on YouTube, you see the video on there. I get on there a lot to just see input. That's the only way we can get better is to make sure we take input from you, our customers. Thank you very much.